Well, hello everyone, it's Rose, and I am doing my last unboxing of my three custom diamond paintings from Evermoment, the EM Fun Store. Uh, so this one, like the others, I believe is a 60 by 80, and let's get into it right now. So uh, for anybody who hasn't seen an Evermoment unboxing, uh, they, the diamond paintings are always sent extremely well packed. So as you see, there is this um, outer wrapping of bubble wrap. And then inside, we have um, We have a uh, mailing tube, uh, a fairly heavy cardboard mailing tube, and then they always put a, their signature pink or purple ribbon around the diamond painting tube, and they have their uh, branded label also on the mailing tube. Uh, now, sometimes you do get, if, if the package got crushed at all in shipping, uh, you do get a little bit of a break in the cap, uh, but they always identify your diamond painting by name and uh, code and they tell you how many colors. So this one has 44 colors and they tell you the size. So it is a 60 by 80 and because this was a custom, there's a code and they had sent me the codes in advance so that I would know what I was getting when I opened the diamond painting. So let's take a look at what we have packed inside here. So first off, uh, you have what I consider to be gifts. So they call this a gift and they now are sending um, a, some washi tape. So you can wrap each of your diamond paintings or you can put the washi tape around the edges of each of your diamond paintings if there's any excess adhesive. So I love this idea. They used to send hair elastics and they really weren't very useful for me. They were, you know, they were cute for a little girl, let's say. Or I suppose if you had like a Pekingese dog or something, you could tie the doggy's hair um, with them because uh, they were really sort of cute. They were very cute. Anyway, um, this is much more practical and I appreciate it very much. They also send uh, a bag full of resealable plastic bags. And there are quite a few in here. I don't know if there's enough for all of the colors in the diamond painting kit, but I wouldn't expect them to send that many. And then you get a premium kit, a tool kit, uh, which includes the single placer pen with a squishy and a three placer on the end. And then you also get a multi-placer. In this case, I believe that's a five-placer there. And I hope that's in focus. And then you get your premium Evermoment tweezers. And again, they're branded with the Evermoment name. Uh, these are very sharp tweezers. I love them. These are my favorite tweezers. And um, what I do before I start using a new pair, and I've only had to use two different pairs since I started diamond painting. One I keep in my travel container or my travel um, bag, I dull the end of the tweezers because they are pin sharp and, um, and I don't want them quite that sharp, so I always dull them with a file. Uh, and then you get two bits of wax and it's generally very good quality wax. And then you get the um, standard white boat with a funnel. So that's extremely helpful to have as well. So that's all of the extras that you get in a diamond painting kit from Evermoment. So um, Evermoment also sends you uh, many, many, many colors. Um, not colors. They send you many, many, many drills. So you will never run out of drills on an Evermoment painting. And if you do, they make it extremely easy to get more. And um, they are so confident that you're never gonna run out of drills for one of their paintings that they say you don't need to do inventory. 
and they do send you an inventory sheet, but um, it, like, I, I have found that they send so many extra drills that it's not necessary to do inventory at all. So today, um, I don't think we're going to do uh, a full inventory. I'll show you all the beautiful colors, but um, we're not gonna do inventory. Okay, so this is a diamond painting that I call uh, Gold Winged Angel Under Arch for um, what I consider to be a very good reason. Um, I'm just going to, I'm not sure how well you can see this, so I, I'm just gonna change the orientation of my camera. Okay, so uh, I think this will be better. I can see better what you're able to see. So this uh, was a piece of art that I found online. Uh, I think it's just beautiful. I don't know how old it is. I don't know um, anything about the artist. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful piece of art. And, um, and I wanted to have it made into a personal diamond painting. And uh, I, I just, I love the colors. I love everything about this. Um, and I guess since we're here, I'll take you quickly down the, um, the page of all of the images. So it tells you how many uh, drills there are in the diamond painting. And then uh, it gives you the symbols and um, the DMC number, hold on, where's my thumb? There it is, okay. Uh, the DMC number and the number of drills of that color. So right now, I can tell that I have a lot of the off-white um, because that's everything outside of the arch. And so that is definitely going to be my uh, predominant color and there we go 20,000 drills just of 38.65 so um, yeah that's gonna be that's gonna be everything around the edge here so that's fine um, I think it's gonna be really beautiful and it's gonna make the diamond painting stand out and it will serve that exterior white will serve as essentially a mat for this when uh, I have it framed because this one I think I definitely want to put up. I say think I definitely because, <laughs> because right now I'm all about this and I, I'm desperate to do it and you know I want to see it up on my wall but there are so many beautiful diamond paintings that I have. Maybe I won't end up putting it up. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So, um, so you've seen that, and uh, that's all very well. But I think now it's time to show you the diamond painting. And I'm just, I'm not sure which side is up. Probably this side. Okay. So I'm going to spread it out on my coffee table, make sure you can see everything, and then we will get at it. I'm not sure if you can see everything. Um, um, hold on. Okay, I can't make it so you can see all of the diamond painting, but um, I don't feel like getting down on the floor today. I did that a lot in the last couple of days, and today I just, I don't feel like doing it on the floor. So I'm going to, um, to show you as much as I can here, and then I'll take you out of the cradle and show you anything else. Now first, I'm going to just pull up the bottom here a little bit. Um, so that it's not curled anymore. There we go. And I'm sorry I'm getting in the frame. So 
So there's a, a really nice amount of border. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. There's a really nice amount of border all the way around this diamond painting. Uh, it's going to be, that's going to really set off all the, the beautiful colors in the rest of the, the canvas. So just this. Okay, and now we'll pull down. So I'm very, very excited about this. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're on the internet, you just stumble across a diamond painting that makes you go, wow. Uh, and sometimes you stumble upon an image that makes you go, wow, I wish I could turn that into a diamond painting. And, um, and so that's what I'm doing with this. All right. So I just, I want to make sure that you can see, uh, can you see all of it? Not necessarily. Okay, I think that's about the best I'm going to be able to do. I'll take you out of the cradle in a minute and you can see this better. Okay, so as I'm looking at this, um, it seems very, very dark. But that's because so many of the colors are very, very light. And so the printing on the symbols is black on those light colors. So that's why you get the impression of darkness. This will not be dark. This is going to be a very light, very bright diamond painting. And we'll see that in a moment when I show you the drills. Um, you're not going to get this sense of darkness from those beautiful pastel colored drills that we've got. And usually I don't do pastels, but these pastels all together, to me, just made this exquisite image that I had to do. So there you go. That's it. I'm going to take you out of the cradle so that you can take a look with me at um, the drill field. And let's see, I always like to start with faces. So there's the angel's face. And even right up close, you can see that the eyes are quite well defined, the eyebrows, the nose, the lips, uh, the chin, the chest, and then you get into the wings. And it's just beautiful. So let's, let's just come down close so that you can see the symbols on the canvas and those are very easy to distinguish. The printing is so crisp and clear. It's just fantastic. This is going to be beautiful. And again, you see as I move towards the end edge of the diamond painting, this area that you see in here, it looks gray as you pull back. But that's going to be that pure, almost white 3865. So that's going to be super, super light, bright, and airy. So let's just zoom in on some of these other drills, or some of the other symbols here, so that you can see the, uh, the type of symbols that I'll be working with. It's just beautiful. Yeah, I'm very, very, very excited about this. And look at the way her dress drapes. That's just gorgeous. The level of detail in this painting is fantastic. Okay, and then there's that beautiful arch that's got so much detail to it. Um, 
that just made me love this painting even more. I love the subject of the angel with the golden wings, but the thing that made it for me was seeing the arch. I just think that's stunning. And then up in the arch, you see all those flowers. I think it's beautiful, just beautiful. Anyway, um, I don't know how many times I can say it's beautiful before you guys get totally sick of hearing it. But for me, I'm, I'm seeing this for the first time on canvas and it's like, oh man, I'm so excited about this. Okay, so, uh, so that's good. I'm gonna put you back in the canvas. I'm gonna change the orientation of the camera and we're going to look at the drills next, okay? You know, uh, I have not recently, uh, with the, the, the big diamond paintings that I've been doing, I haven't shown uh, me putting the paper back down. And so I'm gonna do that now, because I know that some of you may be watching me for the first time. So um, I'd like you to see what I do. And uh, this thing in my hand is a bone folder and it's just this plastic thing. I used to use um, like a tongue depressor that I picked up at my doctor's office. And uh, then a user or a viewer told me, oh, I, I have a bone folder. So I went looking on Amazon and I found bone folders. I think I got this one for, I don't know, six or seven dollars. And I really like it because what it does is it allows me to lay the cover paper or the cover plastic when I'm doing a diamond painting that is covered in plastic to lay it down perfectly flat and to get rid of any air bubbles and it's um it doesn't have any sharp edges even the tip here is not sharp and so uh it it really helps me quite a lot um not just to get the uh the air bubbles out but sometimes, uh, as, as I'm sure you're aware, there are uh, what are called bubbles or rivers in the, can in the uh, adhesive. And so I found that just uh, using the, the point uh, to flatten those out is, um, is very, very effective. And there's no danger of wrecking your canvas or ripping the glue or anything like that. Okay. So that's that. Now, uh, let me tell you a little bit, as I'm getting set up here, let me tell you a little bit about this diamond painting. So uh, once again, it's called the Gold Winged Angel Under Arch. That's my name for it. It's supposed to be 60 by 80. Let's see if it is. So for new diamond painters, we always measure side to side first. That's always the first um, dimension. So this one is 60, and then we measure top to bottom. And this one is uh, 80. Yeah, it's exactly 80. So it is precisely true to size. Uh, so that's, um, that's fantastic. And uh, what else can I tell you about this? This is my 203rd canvas, so uh, so I have quite a stash of canvases. Uh, I got it from the EM Fun Store. So look at all these pretty, pretty colors of drills. I mean, those are just, I said it was all pastels. It's not, pa it's not all pastels. There are a lot of pastels, but there are just enough of the, you know, really bright colors, this pink, um, the darker blues, you know, the purple, uh, the dark gray. I bet you that's like a 414 or something. Anyway. Uh, there's just enough of those colors that it's not like a washed out pastel um, image. Uh, but all of the pastels that you do see, including the white that's going to be that um, everything outside of the arch, uh, that is just going to set off those bright colors even more. So let's take a look at what we have in each of these bags. And I keep my Evermoment diamond drill bags because they are fantastic for um, storing drills in when you're traveling. 
Um, at least that's what I use them for. They'd be useful for all kinds of things to do with diamond paintings, but that's what I use them for. Okay. So, like I said, um, Ever Moment will provide way more drills than you'll ever need to do a diamond painting. And they send you instructions on what to do if you um, happen to not have enough drills. I'm going to give you um, an email address to get in touch with. Um, but they do say here that you don't need to um, you don't need to do an inventory. And I did an inventory on the first one of my customs that I opened a couple of days ago. And uh, yesterday I didn't bother doing, well, I just did the inventory to make sure I had all of the colors because I, and I will do that again. Uh, I'll do that with you, what the heck. Um, and, uh, but I, I didn't count because I'm not concerned about the count at all. So um, let's do this. And they always have them so beautifully um, packaged in these bags, and I always make a mess of them, but that's okay. Now it's my diamond painting, so I can do anything I want to it. I'm just so excited to have all these beautiful, beautiful colors. All right, so let's start. So 3726. Can you see everything? Yeah, you can see everything. It's kind of small for you, but I but you can see it all. And I'm going to be going through this um, in fast forward, so and it'll be at 20 times um, actual speed. So this will be done quickly. So this cost me uh, fifty three dollars and fifty nine cents Canadian. Um, and that was after all my discounts. And the price of the painting in American dollars before any discounts were applied was $44.91. I did buy this while Ali, while uh, the Evermoment store was having a sale. I am um, on their mailing list, so I get notified of all of their sales. This arrived really, really quickly. I ordered it on September 6th. It was shipped on September 9th, so that means, you know, within three days, they had taken my order, sent me all of the um, the images that I could choose from because I, I, I asked for it and I asked for charted canvases in, um, in uh, three sizes, I think, at least two sizes. And, um, and so they sent me all of that and then they printed it, packaged it, and shipped it out within three days. And it arrived on my, uh, like at my house on September 19th. It came via e-packet from China. So that I think is tremendously good shipping time. September 6th to September 19th, that's only 13 days. So that's really great. Okay, so I finished the inventory. I'm just going to go down the list make sure I didn't miss anything. So 745, I suspect it's in here. I'll look for it. Uh, and it's kind of a yellow. So let me just go through the yellows. Um, let's see. Seven forty-five. There we go. I have it. So I have everything I need. And um, so what you saw me doing was uh, they they include these big bags, which uh, on their information sheet on the back of the um, on the back of the inventory sheet, they tell you that the small bags include more than one hundred and sixty to two hundred diamonds. And the large bags include anywhere from 800 to 1,000 or more. 
they give you so many more than you need. So let's just take uh, 317 as an example. So even if it has the smaller number of diamonds, let's say there's only 800 diamonds in each one of these bags, there's much more likely to be a thousand or even over a thousand. We've got one, two, three, four thousand and a four thousand and let's say there's only a hundred and sixty diamonds in the small one. So we've got uh, forty one hundred and sixty. How many do we need of 317? We need 2637. So we only needed three bags and they sent us another large bag and a small bag. That's just for one of the colors. I mean, if we take a look at uh, 792, um, we need 1860 colors, or 1860 diamonds. If there's only 800 diamonds, that's 16 there. And, um, and then 160, that's uh, 760. So definitely this would have been enough. They're sending extra. So I am not concerned about running out of diamonds, period. But just for funsies, let's see. Uh, so we need um, 20 bags plus one small bag of the 38.65. Let's see how much they sent me. So they sent me 29 bags of 3865. Uh, so even if there were only 800, let's say there were three, 30 bags, three times eight is 24,000 drills just in the big bags. Uh, well, minus 800. So, um, so 23,000 drills just in the, the big bags. And then, and then we've got all these extras. So I am not worried about running out of drills. So that's it, everybody. That is um, the gold-winged angel under arch. It is a 60 by 80 ever moment custom. Uh, the drills are beautiful. Um, one of the other things for anybody who's new to diamond painting, uh, ever moment has bar none the best quality drills. There is nobody who does drills as well as Ever Moment. Um, when you do a square diamond painting from Ever Moment, the drills snap perfectly into place. And some people don't like that snapping noise. To me, that means that my drills are fitting absolutely perfectly together. There will be no space. There will be no uh, overlapping. There is never a popping drill. And you get almost no trash in an ever moment uh, diamond painting kit. So um, you pay a premium price for it, but it is so worth it to be to know going in that you're going to have a diamond painting that will be perfect in every way. And if it, there's by any chance something that you don't think is great, you just get in touch with ever moment and they will fix it for you. Uh, that's never happened to me. So, um, and I'm, I, I trust that it's not going to happen with this. So that's it. That's my third uh, unboxing of a custom from Evermoment. I am very excited about all three of them. And um, I want to thank you all for taking the time to uh, watch these videos that I make. Uh, to my patrons, thank you so much for your support of my channel. It makes all the difference in the world to me. And I love the fact that there are people out there who like my content enough that you're willing to uh, contribute a cup of coffee a month to it. Um, actually, some cups of coffee cost more than that, but anyway. Uh, and um, to all my viewers and subscribers on YouTube, I do all of this for you. And I so appreciate that you come back and watch my videos time and time and time again. And I hope you continue to uh, because I love you all. Thank you and have a wonderful day.